Passport Bros is buzzing at the moment, and if you're one to think about how and why things are happening in society around you, you'll know why it has become so popular over the last couple of years. The Entitlement of Western Women The majority of women in America and the West believe they are entitled to certain things. They want to be welcomed every day with open arms. They want us to realize that yes can sometimes mean no, no can also mean not yet, and vice versa. We will be labeled as cowards if we commit even one mistake, and ladies don't like cowardly men. That is bad news, since it implies that the woman is no longer there. Any slip-up could result in assault charges. The bulk of American men have given up and switched to easier pursuits, including dating women from other countries, despite the fact that some have worked it out. Women in the East Women in underdeveloped countries don't often act as entitled as women in the West do since they don't have the same level of financial security. When they do, they entirely give themselves over to their new leader, longing for his presence and encouragement in every manner. Due to financial constraints, women in these nations do not actively embrace womanism. Men have not given women in their culture equal rights and opportunities, and society has not given women the freedom to choose to be feminists. It's not surprising that men are traveling abroad to find female companions. I can't say I blame the men for wanting to become passport bros and go to other countries when women in the West often insult men because they don't respect or even like their husbands and partners. These men have left their own nations in pursuit of a spouse who will meet their expectations and not belittle them. If you think about womanism, you might begin to question if it is the result of brainwashing or whether it is actually something that women have always secretly sought but have been unable to do on their own for thousands of years. What men want. Man's most basic needs are to be respected and recognized. Today, women are not even remotely appreciative of men. They feel that just being female entitles them to a certain standard of respect. The last time I did something nice for a woman and she thanked me, I can't recall. I've always advised men to choose their own paths. Either embrace your uniqueness or figure out how to fit in wherever it is necessary. I wonder if American women, primarily white middle-class women, have evolved towards interracial experimentation through time in a similar way to American men. In comparison to South America or Asia, I hear more stories of Western women traveling to Black Africa and the Caribbean in search of a physical connection. Western men are looking for submissive women in the East, is this due to the fact that more and more American women are seeking out stereotypical bad boys to fill the gaps left by American men? Is white women's interest in interracial adult entertainment real or just a made-up myth? Also, does explicit information mislead men or women in its intended direction? I contend that Western men favor women who are subservient. If my estimation is accurate, however, American women are now drawn to more dominating alpha guys. As women never want to accept or admit their truth on their own, it's always amusing to expose them to it. The charm of Eastern women for Western men. Eastern women are looking to date Western men. I recently read about Thai women who believe that the more Western guys they date, the greater the likelihood that they will become romantically linked with them and eventually emigrate to the United States, the United Kingdom, or Canada with them. Strangely enough, when such women travel to a Western nation, they only become aware of the different game that is being played there. When they notice that Western women are not subservient, they often feel pressure from their peers to emulate them, which is why their white Western boyfriends decide to break up with them. The foreign ladies who were left behind by their former lovers, who first brought them to their country because they were subservient and more receptive to their leadership, are acting like, in addition to living in better economic situations, Western men and women are considered more attractive around the world due to the hue and color of their skin, which is more attractive in much of the world. Men and women desire Western men and women because white complexion is preferred over dark or black skin everywhere from Africa to Southeast Asia and the Middle East. But is this racial? Theoretically, yes, yet you can't hold either side responsible for this since popular culture and media narratives have always portrayed white people as heroes and people from other cultures, nations, and origins as villains. Why men are leaving. Now, men are traveling to the East in pursuit of attractive women. Moreover, bear in mind that Thailand has very few obese women. Even ladyboys are prettier than Western women. You should now have all the information you require. 
women will find such men attractive because even a partially feminized male from the West will likely appear more manly than many Asian men there. It's easy to understand why guys visit these locations when you take into account their financial situation and resources. There's no doubt that when men and women from around the world find Western partners and move to Western countries benefit economically. After making the move, they're immediately surrounded by more opportunities, better quality food, a better environment, and usually lesser crime levels. They also start to earn more than they would back in their home countries. However, there's always a downside to this as well. The men and women from Western countries who choose to find foreign partners and bring them back home are usually shunned by their social circles. They risk losing their chances of having partners of their own backgrounds and end up with people who have a different way of thinking. Since Western men have been influenced by the womanist movement and have thus become more feminized, Western women now desire more dominant males. Women want to be in charge and have control over their men's lives, but they also want their guys to appear more manly. Personal decisions also have a role. When dominant women travel abroad in search of more submissive men, they often return with only more manly males in hand. In that situation, they seldom ever get to interact with any men, because males value personal respect and the need for power more than financial achievement. In this aspect, the gender marketplace varies as well. An average-looking Western lady visiting a place like Japan, for instance, won't attract the attention of the males there, because the Japanese lady who is more attractive than average will still appeal to men more. Nonetheless, a Western man of average appearance visiting Japan will discover that the most attractive Japanese lady is attracted to him. The notion of gender and authority in both nations is the cause of this. For Japanese women, the American male represents a new way of life and a prosperous new world where they can cheerfully submit. An American lady who is domineering is not alluring enough for the Japanese man. The man may relish physical contact, but he won't submit to. Societal Differences There are a lot of other elements at work here. In certain societies, gender roles are influenced by characteristics including wealth, age, skin tone, and physical attractiveness. In her mid-30s, a successful Western woman may be worth more to her own nation than to another. In contrast to her home country, where she is only ordinary, an average-looking woman in her early 20s will be worth much more in a place like Africa or the Middle East. So, the reason why passport bros are needed is because there aren't any other options left for men. They are vilified for being masculine in the West, and they are encouraged for being masculine in the East. The women in the West take them for granted, while women in other countries give them respect and appreciation. If only these American women had ever ventured out into the world, they would have realized the true meaning of partnership, loyalty, being masculine, being feminine, and staying true to your nature. Eastern women are highly educated and are no pushovers. They're more traditional because they stay true to their feminine values and that's part of the cultures in East and South Asia. Unlike American women who have lost all moral credibility, this really frustrates them because men don't find them attractive anymore no more how many liposuctions or changes they make to their bodies. American women have failed to realize that a woman's true beauty lies on the inside and not on the outside. Men really just want appreciation for their hard work and not be used or exploited by other women. To have this, I recommend that you live a non-BS life, live free, and avoid committing to someone who you now know is only going to use you for your hard work. So be warned, be humble, be grateful and be careful about who you spend your time with. What's clear to me is that Western society is lost and confused. The family unit has been destroyed because there's no concept of a family left anymore. I mean, Canada has a divorce rate of around 60%. I don't blame the men and women for this. I blame our society and the lack of a family culture. Thanks for watching Man Reacts. Show us your love and support by liking this video, sharing it with your friends, and subscribing to the channel. Support us and help us spread support for men around the world. Do comment and share your thoughts. We're always up for a healthy debate and discussion.